Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Grass Designs. How are you this morning? <laughs> My camera is not doing well. I'm going to try to put this back up on my thingy. Thank you. We'll see if this works. My camera, when I push record, has a light that comes on and beeps, okay? That way you know it started recording. Sometimes, when I put it up on my swing arm clip, it doesn't do that. It does, the light doesn't come on, nor does it make the beep, but it'll start recording. So how do I know it started recording? Because I can't see this screen. <sighs> Let's start this over. It's just a mold. It's just a pink mold. This is just Sculpey Primo that I've been sitting there conditioning over and over again to try to get it soft enough. Man, my hands this morning, though. Alright. Let's start somewhere, shall we? Oh. Not kidding, y'all. If you can keep from it, don't get old. Oh, we got it in there. Okay. Oh, that's what I wanted. Let's see how it turned out anyway. Is on. How about Ich. Okay, we're going to try one more time. Now, let's squirt the back of it with a little water. Oh, that helped. And helped put a bunch of crud in the back of my mold.
Anyway, it's the back, right? Well, that turned out a little better. Let's give it a bit more detail, though. scale part we're just gonna leave like it is I'm gonna get some mica powder I'm gonna press another one of these and we'll be back okay it beeped all right somewhere I have a newer mold the same mermaid tail they couldn't find it I'm sorry I know y'all can't see when I tilted up like that but it's just me trying to see about just trimming these up after I baked them but then I realized you will be trimming up some of that mica powder too so let's don't do that Sorry if I'm trying to be quieter. It's because it's 7.15 in the morning. And I didn't want to bug my husband. I just heard him brushing his teeth though. Oh my goodness, y'all will never believe this. I didn't believe it. My husband actually removed. <laughs> we used to have that giant fish tank in here. 150 gallons or whatever it was. <clears throat> Six foot by three and a half foot, something like that. And he, our, our fish died a couple of years ago. We'd had him for 13 years. Beloved predator. It was an Oscar. And his sucker fish, Picostomus or whatever. Anyway, they both died within several months of each other. I bought them at a fish, fish store, a pet store. Thirteen years ago, I'm not kidding you, he was two inches long. The 
costumes, whatever you call them, uh, was just as tiny. He was just longer. Anyway, so that shelf the fish tank set on, it was a living color you know, handmade, one of a kind fish tanks. Anyway, he moved that shelf I call it a shelf, it was a table it broke down into parts and he moved it out from in front of my sewing room door So I've spent, well, all day yesterday, breaking down boxes, because that's what's in there, boxes, and boxes, and boxes. Okay, now we're there. Let's get a paper towel. I'm going to wipe some of this mica back off. 91% alcohol. 99 whatever you've got I say whatever you've got whatever you've got that'll work Okay. All right. This is just a tiny came with a uh, a metal leafing set that's what they sold it as it's really just a fine fine uh, like eyeshadow brush okay well and sorry these are just the no name Michael powders You know, it's just one of those big sets uh, they sell on Amazon. I want to make sure there's plenty on there so you have something to wipe back off.
okay? <laughs> Don't worry about how they look. They'll look different. Now we're just going to bake them. I would say... Mm, 30 minutes. 275 for 30 minutes. Okay. I don't know where this mold came from to be quite honest um, I have no idea no I have no idea I, again this is just the last of this block of white primo the mermaid tail one just came from Amazon Flatten it out a bit. Okay. Oh, such a nasty tile. Okay, on these, I want to try these uh, more golden colors. This one is a dark. Um, I'm going to say they're going to say it's an antique gold. This one is a bronze. Now, I'm just going to pull that color up towards the shell a bit to give it a more natural look.
this is just a white pearl. Yeah, I've got a towel over here on the side where I'm brushing my mica powder off. How does your desk always stay in such a mess, Lynn? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Just like that. It's a good thing it wasn't the whole time. <laughs> like, uh, don't jinx yourself, man. Don't do it. If we can carefully lift these up and turn them over, then we can dust the other side. Okay, sorry for the noise of the air conditioner. It's a necessary thing this time of year. Alright, these are going to be a bit more difficult. I'm going to have to drill a hole for the tiny little eye screws. But before we do that, now that I think about it, I'm going to put a coat of gloss sealer on both of these sets. This is just a soft brush. And yes, I shook my bottle first. If you're using a gloss sealer, always stir your bottle or shake, stir it or shake it or something. The gloss medium that they add to the sealer will separate out if it's left sitting for very long. And all you get is the mat. This is the Rust-Oleum water-based gloss sealer. It's mainly sold as a furniture sealer, but it does come in like little one pint cans. But I pour from my pint container 
into a little this was a Varathane bottle that I got from a clay supplier years ago they don't carry it anymore unfortunately because Varathane if you buy it online of course you can buy it in smaller amounts but at my store it's a gallon and it's like 65 bucks so that's a no I'm gonna flip these over and gloss the other side and I'll be back okay now all I'm gonna do is drill a tiny little tiny little pilot hole Okay, not nearly as deep as these need to be. Now, as we know, I always have trouble with this, so excuse me while I get it working. In that tiny little pilot hole. Come on. There we go. Don't over screw it in. And I did, and see what I mean? I busted it out right there. That is a bummer. These. I'm going to drill a hole down here towards the end and dangle these tiny little turtle charms. I thought those would match well. Now let's find some jump rings. Yeah, these ought to work. They ought to be big enough. Okay. Now, don't do as I do. <laughs> Before you close these, put the little turtles on. 
and these little turtles, it doesn't matter which way they face. Because they're the same on both sides. Alright, now, the way you determine that, when you put your jump ring in, if it's facing this way, and the hole is facing that way, huh? if they're perpendicular to each other, then you're good to go. If they're parallel to each other, you're going to have to add another jump ring. little turtle on first oh those are gonna be so cute all right now to put a hole or to put another eye screw mm, dangerous I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for putting the hole. I may regret it, but if I do, then you won't see the video. <laughs> Do we have a jump ring that will accommodate that? We'll have to see. We're just going to go with the biggest in the box. They fit. Now, when we're putting these on, I can tell you right away, they're going to need another jump ring. Okay? Let's get both of these on first. This is why most jewelry artist hate putting their jewelry together they love making the jewelry they really don't like putting it together and you'll hear that over and over again they'll have piles of jewelry that they've already made up that are just sitting there because they won't they don't want to put them together Those are pretty tiny. Let's see if we can do it though. The Sixty year old eyes are not the same. has 20 years old eyes for sure. Oh my goodness, those are... Now, we're going to take these fish hooks. The wire that these fish hooks is made out of is more brittle than the jump ring wire. Not brittle enough that it can't be 
twisted, but don't try to pry it apart. Twist. And then twist it back. And I put it on backwards. <laughs> so let's do that again. Twist. And then twist it back. Boy, that really did split, didn't it? I'll have to put a patch on the back of that to even hope to save it. But more than likely, I'll just make another one. Okay. They really turned out cute, though. That makes me mad. And the way that split, both of them actually split. Wow. Well, that's a shame. We're going to have to redo those. Those are really cute, though. All right. Sorry for the disappointment in my voice. We had one set of fails and one set of successes. I love them both. That's a real shame. Let's put it on an earring card. Let's put them on an earring card to put the successes anyway. hold on to it those those turned out really really adorable I don't normally wear gold but I would wear those in a heartbeat those shells look so realistic okay and we'll hang the uh, mermaid tails just for effect I'll have to remake them but hey that's part of that's part of the process really and truly Yeah, those would really be cute. Hanging on an earring display. Oh, those would be really cute. Alright. I don't know what the deal is with that regular Primo. But I'll remake these and, and then I'll take some pictures at the end of the remade ones <laughs> all right now this time I drilled little pilot holes before I baked them just use my little knitting needle and put the holes 
I am going to now mica powder these. I did save these. They're just under baked. That's what the problem was. They're just under baked. I haven't under baked something in years. <laughs> so, good lesson. I'm going to check my oven thermometer and make sure it's on point, but I may just not have baked them long enough. Alright, now, as you can see, this time I decided to do them in a different color, and they worked much better uh, putting the holes before I baked them. I did use Bacon Bond this time, simply, like I said, because I don't have any super glue. I did not throw the other ones away. I did glue them back together. I'll just use these in a mixed media project somewhere along the way. I don't throw hardly anything away. Uh, polymer clay related, as y'all know. Alright. There's where it really busted out when I took the eye screws out of there. But anyway. I seriously want to thank y'all so much for watching me make a fool out of myself. But I really I love those. They really both turned out super cute. Okay. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like everybody's video. I know y'all are tired of hearing that. But it really helps everybody's algorithm. Um... Bye for now.